Hey everybody, it's Jeff Nolan. Today's realestateanswer.com. As you can see, we're at an open house right here. Um, what I wanted to ask, uh, show you guys about the open house. Well, I wanted to ask you a question really. The question is, why hasn't this house sold in 280 days in a seller's market where homes are being overbid here in Phoenix, where you're getting multiple offers, where homes are getting offers sight unseen? How come this home isn't sold. So I'm going to walk you through this home and I'm going to have you try to see if you can figure out why this house hasn't sold. And then what we'll do is we'll talk about it together at the end. So here we go. This house is a beautiful 3,000 square foot single story on a very nice lot. That one is the same floor plan, same builder. It's also uh, vacant and available. So as you can see, this is a super nice neighborhood. No doubt about it. So from the outside, you know, it's got nice landscaping. It's got nice paint. Let's go see. We got a three-car garage. We got a flat tile roof. I don't know if you can see that very well from this angle. We've got very nice fixtures right there. We've got nice double-pane glass with plantation shutters. See those plantation shutters? The hardware is the uh, brushed nickel. This is in now. So when we first walk in, we've got the office to the right, and we've got a main, probably a living room slash dining room. And notice that it's just painted builder white. There's no paint on the walls at all. So it's white paint, white trim. Brand new carpet, carpet's nice, feels good under your feet. The tile is a 20 inch neutral. So, you know, that's what the tile looks like. Again, the fixtures are a brushed nickel. So these are just regular guy fixtures. They're not fancy, but they're clean and neat. In the bathrooms, we've just got pretty much plain Jane stuff, but that's okay. And then again, the hardware, uh, the, these kind of uh, handles are better than the knobs and they have matching hinges as well, so that's nice. So if you keep walking in, you come to this big area here. So this is family room and kitchen. So the kitchen has a very nice black granite. Nobody would argue with that. It's got a granite sink. It's an undermount sink, notice. Nobody would argue with that. Now here, they've chosen chrome fixtures, which is fine, nothing wrong with chrome. And look, you can tell that the appliances are missing. The microwave, the oven, the cooktop, and the fridge. Back on the windows, it looks like we've got a nice wood blind. So not fancy, but nice. So we go down this wing, it's a split floor plan. So this is the bedroom wing. I know it's hard to tell with just white. So garage door, bedroom one, bedroom two, bedroom three, bathroom. So we'll come down the hallway to the bathroom. There is a exit to the backyard and we'll go out there in a minute. So here in the bath, we have just your standard white with chrome fixtures, with this white plastic. I forget what they call this plastic stuff, but it's, uh, it's, it's just white. And the white cultured uh, countertops with a nice chrome fixture and very nice cabinetry. So nobody can really complain about the cabinetry in the kitchens or the baths. And up here, we have a nice light kit. So again, it's a nice, Reasonable quality, not super upgrade, but you know, nice, clean, and neat. Let's go to the master, which is over here. Oh, and by the way, this house, here we are, is uh, 4810 South Dragoon. Um, I'm sorry, whoops, wrong one. 4830 South Dragoon, selling for 332 in Chandler. It's four bedrooms, two and a half baths, 2,900 square feet. So it got a real handsome agent. There he is there, see him? Well, so get, so look at this again. 332, in the last six months, we've had six closed sales, averaging 433 or $122 a square foot, selling in 105 days. So why is this one at $100,000 less, still on the market after 280 days? That is the question, and that's another picture of the house. So let's come back to the uh, master as we described. 
Nice big master. Nice fan. Thing is cranking. I can feel it. And we'll come to the master bath. It's got its own linen closet. Very nice. And again, the same kind of white cultured countertop with the chrome fixture. Dual sink. Lots of cabinets. And a nice big walk-in closet. So we've got one towel, towel bar. Uh, we call those um, hangers, you know, for your for your stuff. Whatever you call it. This is a closet, so it's a big closet. And it's the same tile throughout. Now, the master uh, shower is just white with a, uh, a, a chrome enclosure. The master bath is just the white as well. So this kind of white. While there's nothing wrong with it, it's clean and neat, is basically kind of builder minimum grade. So this is kind of a no upgrade um, kind of a house. Let's walk back outside. Let's go see about outside. I never understand why we can't solve the problem of the blind hits the hand. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay, as you can see, it's a dirt, dirt backyard. Now let's take a little survey of it. So, a lot of times when you get a builder home, it's just plain. There's nothing special at all. And that's what we have back here now. Shooting from the back of the house. So that's the, uh, that window there is the uh, guest bath and that's one of the bedrooms. This is the kitchen window there and the family room. And then that is the uh, master bedroom. And you can see it's got a nice uh, pitched kind of roof. So, tell me why the house is $100,000 less than every other home here and is not selling. Do you know why? Have you figured it out? Well, number one, let's look over the fence. What do you see over the fence? You see a shopping mall. You see a 45 mile an hour road that is soon to become a four lane super slam. So number one, this, oops, sorry, I don't know where the sun is. Number one, this house backs to the road. So you're always going to hear that road noise. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but I can hear it clearly. Number two, this faces west, which means when you get off work after a long day and you want to enjoy this giant yard, because it's a huge yard, it's 12,000 square feet. You can't because the sun is going to pelt the back of the house. So you're going to fry in this backyard. Right now it's uh, 1240. So the sun is just starting to set in the west. And what will happen back here is it'll just continue to bake this entire backyard. So it's a good floor plan by a good builder. Amberwood Homes is a good builder. Walk with me. Uh, let's go back inside. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with the quality of the build. There's nothing wrong with the location in Chandler. The only thing wrong is its orientation toward the sun. And that's a problem. So, would you spend $332,000 to buy a house that needs paint? A backyard, and by the way, that's a big backyard, so that's at least a $50,000 backyard minimum. Plus, you're gonna have the road noise. You can actually see Chandler Heights Marketplace sign right from the kitchen. So I can see that subdivision over there. Now, I will admit, it would be convenient to be close to all the amenities that that subdivision, that uh, a strip mall has to offer. But a lot of people don't want their home with the stress of the road and of the strip mall and of the sun baking in. So that's why this home and the house next door have not sold. So 
If you didn't figure that out, I'm just trying to help. This is the kind of things that we look for, and that's why you have to have a good appraiser, a good realtor to sort of pick up on the subtleties that aren't necessarily obvious and evident. I'm Jeff Nolan. I'm at todaysrealestateanswer.com, 480-626-0936. If you've got a question, you're a buyer, you're a seller, you need some help, or you got a buddy that needs some help, hey, let me know. I'll be glad to help. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.